So I'm checking out the Airu Pro, which is a very exciting release. Uh, it's an exciting new kind of drone concept for me. It does have quite a, a heavy payload rating, meaning that it can carry objects that are a little heavier than what I'm used to. So love the packaging, love how we've got this nice photo here of the drone, what to expect inside. Uh, simple packaging itself, and as you open it up like so, it just kind of gives you access to the bag. And that's all you get in there. So it's just the bag and everything is going to be housed and contained inside of the bag itself. So, there we go. That's the bag that you get. And as you can see, it says Air Roo on the front. Love the aesthetic. It definitely matches what they're going for here as the drone is a nice stunning black design as you get inside, which I haven't actually seen yet. The nice bold white text here looks great. And the case itself is quite heavy duty. It's protecting everything inside. You get a little uh, handle on top here. And then on the sides, you get these little sections here so you can um, clip in the straps and turn it into more of a bag if you're carrying it for an extended period of time. So, as you open it up, you get quite a few options for storage in here. So let's just make sure we've got that in so you can see it all. So first things first, you get this section here, which does have a nice breathable kind of mesh design. And as you unzip that, you've got a bunch of storage options in there to put manuals, propellers, cables, whatever else that you want to put in that top section there. Then here we've got three individual pouches. The one in the middle has a Velcro design. So that's where you want to put your more valuable stuff in the Velcro design there. Let's just move it so you can see that. And so in here, we have got a few things actually. So we've got some propellers, which are quite heavy duty propellers to be able to carry the payload that they're promising here. It would make sense for them to have a heavy duty drone and propellers. So you get a few different propellers here. You get eight spares in total. And then you get two cables here, depending on what phone you've got. Um, so you get a few different cables there. So that goes into the more secure section, the more secure pouch with the Velcro section. And this side here is more exposed and this comes with just a few more accessories again. So this is the mounting option basically. This is what they give you um, to mount up the payload, whatever it is that you're gonna be carrying with the drone. And they would be the key pieces there that you would need. So I love that, I love how it's all sectioned off. And then as we get into it, here is the main piece, the drone right smack bang in the middle. And love that design. Love how striking it is. I haven't seen a dr drone like this in a very long time, like this full black aesthetic. Underneath we can see we've got a fan there by the looks of it. Oh, um, and we've got a few little sensors here. There's a button here, there's a light, another sensor there. We've got the gimbal cover here, which houses the uh, camera system, which looks like a very nice camera system on top there. I like that design actually for the gimbal cover. Some gimbal covers can be a bit weird, but that one actually feels quite nice as it slots into its place like so. Um, so that's quite cool. I do like that. Um, nothing folds up here, so very sturdy arms. You can actually see how sturdy this drone is up close extremely sturdy even the battery itself just feels like a sturdy payload right like it's got a bit of weight to it uh, it exposes up where to actually download the apps as you uh, take the battery out so that's very handy for your first time use batteries just slot in place you can see there's some ventilation there and there's just a button to give you a battery reading now the motors themselves feel very heavy duty again this has got to carry quite a large amount of weight and uh, that would make sense why it's such a sturdy build why the propellers are so large uh, like I said not a foldable design but the arms feel very sturdy you do have little sections off to the side here which is where you would find a few different you know like the uh, the option to plug it in or the SD slot on one side so you've got a few little sections there a lot of ventilation everywhere as you can see it looks like a very well constructed piece of hardware. You've got the Air Roo 
logo down the base there. But quite a simple, stealthy looking design. I guess stealthy is the word that I would go for here. It just, you know, does everything that you would expect it to do for a drone, right? It's just a nice, well-built design. It's got a little bit of weight to it, relatively heavy. Um, but again, that's what you would need to carry a large payload. So that's quite impressive straight off the bat. It does come with a spare battery here. And again, they do have quite a lot of weight to them, the batteries themselves. So that's something to get used to for me. The controller is here. It's uh, quite a basic controller by the looks of it, but I'm sure it's gonna do the job. You've got a few buttons there. On top, you've got the shutter button, the scroll wheel to adjust the camera. You've got a record button and then the payload release button as well. So there's that. The thumbsticks actually do come off. You can unscrew them if you want. And underneath here, we can see it says pull. So you pull that down, and then that's how you get access to where you would basically mount your phone up. So you would pull this out if you've got a larger phone. Under here as well, you can house the thumbsticks, um, which is quite nice, so that can fit in there. And then it just kind of tucks away like that when you're ready to to pack it away and go off. So that fits in there. You can leave the thumbsticks in, which is nice to just slot it into the case. Um, that's the drone there, which actually does fit in nicely. I believe you go this way. You just gotta make sure the propellers are kind of tucked into the middle so you don't get it caught up. So as you can see, that just fits in very nicely in the bag itself. And then we have a few different accessories here. And so these are gonna be the extra things like the charging brick I would imagine. Yep, so there's the charging brick there. That's the little terminal there. That's what you're going to plug into your wall. And you can have up to four batteries, so it just kind of slots on, you push it down into the terminal and it makes its connection. So you've got the option for four batteries if you want. I've got the two here. So if you want to get more batteries, you do have that option, which is very nice. That just slots in like so. And that was all in that bag, or in that box, sorry. And then in this box, okay, so we've got the strap here. So this strap is what you're going to connect up to turn it into more of a bag design if that's what you want. And then you've also got a little screwdriver as well as a cable which is a USB-A to USB-C. So that's another extra thing that they include in there. Um, so quite a nice kit really that you're getting a bunch in here. The drone itself is just so unique. Like I haven't used a drone like this in such a long time. It's quite a large drone. Um, it's going to get uh, take some time to get used to I'd imagine but the build quality is so sturdy it's got a bit of weight to it which I'm very keen to see how it handles the sky and it's quite a simple design you know there's nothing too complicated here keen to figure out the whole payload system how you mount it all up and everything but it looks like it's going to be relatively easy and the unboxing process just on its own has been smooth right everything's packaged nicely love the box that you get here and it just looks like it's going to be a phenomenal drone from Airu.